Right. Yeah, let me do that and then uh, and workforce development too, uh, part of that. So, so I, I mentioned briefly in my comments uh, about being able to put the infrastructure in place to have the sensors put in as we're designing this, which is critical where other countries uh, are. Uh, so that has uh, something that uh, we are starting to do uh, and to make sure the federal government will provide uh, those resources. Because this, this system, as you know, doesn't work uh, as well. You have to have as much many data points as possible into making autonomous vehicles. So you need mapping, you need LIDAR, you, you need uh, cameras, you need sensors in the road. All of those redundancies also enhance the safety considerably. And if anyone fails, you still have redundancies to make sure that it works. But the infrastructure is a key component, you're absolutely right. So uh, as we, uh, we have to deal with the infrastructure broadly and we fix a lot of roads and, and do that kind of construction, but it also presents an opportunity because as we're doing that, we've got to integrate the sensors into it immediately as we step up uh, those construction projects. So with the legislation that's passed that I wrote uh, in the Federal Transportation Act, we now can do that. And so hopefully as, uh, and I'm sure as the state continues to work, they will be incorporating that. It's important if we have this, this uh, center as well, the uh, Ypsilanti, M-City is great already, but if we can put M-City on steroids uh, with the mobility center as well, you're gonna wanna take those off the track uh, and they've gotta go into the city and so we can be constructing those right now as we're doing our infrastructure to make the Detroit area or some of the other cities smart city zones, uh, which is the other key federal component of that. A smart city designation provides federal money to put it into infrastructure, to put it into light posts, to have cell towers, all of it integrated uh, into a smart city, which is really about more efficient transportation going forward. But those are competitive grants. So that, again, that's why it's important we get our, really our act together in a, in a major way. We already have it together, but in a major way, so that we win those grants to be able to put in those kinds of uh, infrastructure improvements. But I am worried uh, as well about training folks uh, and having the engineering folks and having the kind of culture of innovation that we need uh, in the space of uh, particularly with AI. And that's why I brought up the example of the billboard uh, that's um, in Silicon Valley. Uh, they, they were as a billboard for autonomous vehicles in Silicon Valley that they want engineers, which is why the Detroit Free Press talked about all the folks that are being hired there. According to the folks I was with, I was with NVIDIA, the, the, the game people who are doing a lot of the, the uh, processing. Uh, they said that course uh, had openings for 250 people and they had 12,000 applications uh, for the 250. So now they're going to expand it and like they're saying, it's like companies in Michigan, they should be having all their engineers taking this free nano course, you know, to, to, to start uh, gearing up on that and hopefully expand it further. But those are the kinds of things we got to make sure we have the folks here. Otherwise, you're going to see more and more investments moving out to, to the Valley. And, and the partnerships are fine with the Valley, but uh, we've got to, we all want people coming here and bringing them here as well as training our folks uh, to do that. And so we have to be very aware of what they're doing in the space of training specific skills, particularly in the engineering scientific space that we uh, have. And our ability with our universities to make that happen, that's why they're a part of this process, is their training programs to, uh, uh, in these areas. Uh, one of the things that Automation Alley is trying to do working with the American Center for Mobility is to create a dialogue not only with the, the, the OEMs, the, the auto companies and their tier ones, but it's the tier three, fours and fives, the little guys that we really support that, that when I talk to all of them, it's the same thing. I have limited capital and how in the world can I guess where the world is going? The bigs have lots of R&D and they're trying different things and they're, they're working with the federal government and with educational institutions, but it's the little guys and we need to build an extremely strong supply chain that gets it along with the, 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 the bigger companies. And so you're gonna see more of that, of where do they find the talent and how do we help them understand the bets they can place or the, the way they can prepare when the new technology does come and filters down to the products they're making. As Senator Peters said, everything's gonna have a sensor in it. Whether you think it or not, you make something mundane and all of a sudden it's gonna have a sensor in it and oh my God, I've never hired an electrical engineer in my life and now I need one. So it's right. going to be a, a give and take in that right. regard. And yeah, that's part of the, uh, if I may, I'll be back on that too. That's the ecosystem too, and what you, uh, for innovation, is that we are dominated in this area pri primarily from very large companies, which has been great, it's been wonderful for our history, but it also isn't necessarily the most efficient model for uh, innovation where you need to have a lot of small companies that are competing aggressively, c people are leaving back and forth creative destruction, all of that going on. So that's a great thing to, to be focusing on the smaller companies which are gonna make uh, that difference. That's what we're seeing in Silicon Valley. A lot of them are being purchased by bigger companies to bring some of that talent. But that we've gotta have that kind of thing happening uh, here, which is really important.